simplifying a radical expression with two variables, we're asked to simplify the square root of 75 x to the third y to the 11th. And we have two parts to this simplification. The first, the 75, is a whole number. So to simplify that, we're going to need to try to rewrite that as some perfect squares so that we will be able to simplify. But then the other part of that expression, the x to the third, y to the 11th, we're going to have to use this rule that says when we take the square root of a variable raised to an even power, we can get rid of the radical and divide the even power by 2. So first of all, the 75. We're going to want to rewrite this problem. We can rewrite the 75, and we want to rewrite it as one of these perfect squares over here times another number so that I can pull out the perfect square from underneath the radical. So that's why I have my perfect squares over here listed, at least some of them. So 75, I, 75 is not 4 times another number or 9 times another number. I can't write 75 as 16 times another number. But 25, I can rewrite the 75 as 25 times 3. And again, the reason I want to do that is I wanted to have a perfect square in there because that's what I'll be able to simplify. Now for the x to the third and the y to the eleventh, I said I want to use that rule written above there, but the rule only applies to even powers. So it has to be the variable raised to an even power. So what I can do is I can take that x to the third and I can rewrite that as x squared and I would need one more x. So x squared times x, that's 3x's and then the y to the 11th I can make that y to the 10th times one more y and the reason I wanted to do that was now these have even exponents and I'll be able to use that rule at the top so let's simplify our expression I'm gonna bring it down here starting with the 25 the 25 comes out of the radical because it's the perfect square that we chose over here. Square root of 25 is 5. And then the variables that have even exponents, those we can take half of the exponents. So x2 becomes x1, taking half of it. 2 divided by 2 is 1. The y10 can come out as a y 5, same thing, 10 divided by 2 gives us the 5, and then underneath the radical, I'm still left with the 3, and then I also have, for those variables, I have 1x and 1y. So the 3, the x, and the y. I can't pull them out from the radical because they're not perfect squares. I've taken everything that was a perfect square out and left the others under the radical. 